Hey y'all. So I'm going to make this video before I run out the door again today. As you know, my purse was, um, not my purse, but my, uh, someone wrote a bad check on my account. And you know what? The Lord gave me a dream about it and I posted it. It was in a warmer dream. So I'll talk about that later. Um, so the thumbnail that I'm going to use, you guys listen, because yesterday when I posted about posted the dream or vision it was just like a vision on top of um looking at the the united states map part of it was zoomed in and it appeared to look like you know it started off in like a harbor area like in a new york harbor area then i seen like a picture of a like a cement grid um where the water was just coming up out of it and then it was like I zoomed out and it, I seen this water go from like the northeast across the map to around almost to Texas, okay? And it made this swirl, okay? Um, like the toilet. So before I even talk about anything that I seen in real life. So I was looking up pictures because um, Amanda commented she needs to leave her dream about that dream that she had about these particular parts i think i remember hearing it it seems as if she said they were blue in this dream um but she commented yesterday and she should post that dream here um and also a paper maker 10 paper maker she said that it's probably called liquefaction or liquefaction it could be said either way, okay? I believe when I when I Googled it. And um, also, I'm going to leave a link, I think Calvin Pettit, of the U.S. Navy's map of the new future U.S. where apparently there's some split and then there's water. Didn't really kind of look like um, how my vision went, but it looks like it's along the lines of the... Um, the New Madrid Fault and somewhere over there in California, okay? I'll just leave the link to the to the image. So before I start, y'all, so I was looking up all this stuff, like I was looking up the, the definition of the liquefaction, and I came across, I was trying to find a picture, okay? So the picture that I'm using is of, it came from a story. There was a Christ Church earthquake I think it's New Zealand. Oh, I thought I deleted the note in my phone. I think it's New Zealand, you guys. But the name of the story is Aftermath of the Christ Church, all one word, earthquake. I just was like, wow. Okay? Just like, wow. And... Of course, I can't find the definition of liquefaction. So I'll just keep talking, you guys. I can't believe liquefaction, liquefaction, liquefaction. Um, I'll just read the Wikipedia one because this one was kind of the one I found mentioned earthquakes and um, dams breaking, which I think Amanda said in her in her comment okay yeah I got it okay so yesterday in real life you guys before I read the definition of this thing yesterday in real life I was watching they were doing a news clip I guess on CBS evening news of how the Hawaiian volcano eruption killer killer nua or killer nea or killer nu i don't know how you say it may have finished erupting and you guys this thing had been erupting since 1983 the long, longest current run in the u.s is that right i i didn't i never heard of such a thing you guys and i don't know if this is like so anyway, what they said was, when I was looking for it, only thing I got, the first thing I came across was CNN. You know, I don't. They said that usually when one stops, another one will begin. 
which is sad and unfortunate. But it what caused me to look it up is there was a river of uh, lava that they showed from an area view, and the shape of it kind of looked like um, division, kind of. Okay, it did really. It, it was kind of it. You know, I had a little curve on it, and it just really, you know, caught my attention. But, so when I found that out, I was like, wow, the longest current run in the U.S. It began in 1983. Also, last night, you guys, it could have been the 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock news. There was a sinkhole here. It was relatively small here in my town, Mount Pleasant. And it was by the Isle of Palm Connector, where there is water, you know, there's, you know, a little river or harbor or whatever. But there was a little sinkhole, and it was caused by a sewer line. And they were asking people near that area to uh, reduce their usage of their waste, like sewage lines, like stop flushing your toilets or whatever, okay? But the picture that they used, you know, they used the picture of the sinkhole. And it reminded me of the vision because at the end of the the water that was coming across the U.S. map, it did a swiggly swirl, like, you know, like your toilet flushing, okay? So I just thought that was interesting. I was like, Lord, that's so cool. Um, I don't live near there, and I'm going to flush my toilet. <laughs> you just have to fix it. Um, I'll leave the article below. So, uh, just doing research, you guys, I looked up, you know, the New Madrid fault line. I told you a couple of videos back, I hate geography. I, I, I suck at it, okay? But I had to research some of this stuff, especially after, you know, what I did see was, unfortunately, the top nuclear power plants are on the Eastern Hemisphere of the United States. This thing went from the Northeast to like basically right next to Texas. The whole Western Hemisphere is where the top nuclear plants are. I felt that uh, that was kind of concerning to me, you guys. Okay, so now to the definition of soil liquef li liquefaction or liquefaction. Because this might help, you know, make, when I read this, it made me think about what Amanda put in the comment section. Um, it's a phenomenon in which the strength and the stiffness of a soil is reduced by earthquake shaking or rapid loading. Um, it's been, is a liquefaction or liquefaction and related phenomena have been responsible for tremendous amounts of damage in historical earthquakes around the world. It occurs in saturated soils. You guys, this thing was inundated. Uh, ox, ox, this is soil liquefaction. Um, let me continue reading. Liquefaction occurs in saturated soil, that is, soils in which the space between individual, individual particles is completely filled with water. This water exerts a pressure on the soil particles that influences how tightly the particles themselves are pressed together. Prior to an earthquake, the water pressure is relatively low. However, earthquake shaking could cause the water pressure to increase to the point where the soil particles can readily move with, with respect to each other. So you can see um, the picture, I think the picture that I have, it just seems like, you know, even from concrete, it's just like the water can, like, rise above it. I've even seen, I think one definition talked about how seemingly or actually, well, seemingly, concrete structures are, like, liquefied. 
and turn into a vapor or water or something like that, okay? Um, I think that was in a Wikipedia uh, definition. It says, earthquake shaking often triggers this increase in water pressure. And I'm going to show y'all a picture here in a minute of this apartment complex. Because I believe this also ties in with Israel now that I see this picture. Not now, but when I first saw it. Um, this movement can cause settlement of the retained soil and destruction of structures on ground surface. Um, the increased water pressure can also trigger landslides and cause the collapse of dams. <sighs> I think that's it. I'm gonna show this picture because I had an open vision and I posted it, it's on here, um, of like an apartment complex in Israel. I didn't know it was in Israel, but it was on like hilly land when I seen it. And then when I seen a story the next day, I think it was about the settlements, new settlements. That's what it was. Um, uh, Bibi was gung-ho with building settlements. And uh, there was some controversy about that, okay? They just building new developments in their land. They have every right to. So look at this. I don't know if I can see that. It makes me think that maybe, maybe, it it kind of has like, this is an overturned apartment complex. But when I saw that, it reminded me of that vision. And I posted a, a picture very similar to that um, as a fulfillment of that vision. You guys... I really think that we are the new Madrid. I hope it's after we leave. We know this thing going to, you know, I'm, I'm sure we're going to have an earthquake there. This liquefaction or liquefaction phenomenon going over those particular areas. I don't know how it's going to happen. Um, I think Amanda said something, you know, it's going to cause like an, a domino effect. Guys, that would just be super tragic. Okay. And I don't know, but this thing is caused by earthquakes primarily. Okay. I will leave all links below. Before I leave, Walmart, I posted a dream. I was at a Chick-fil-A uh it was kind of like you see in the mall, just like I was at the mall yesterday. There was a Chick-fil-A. Um, but a little Chick-fil-A little, you know, spot in the mall. But it, this in the stream, it was in Walmart. And I was looking up, if I can, you know, remember, I was looking up to uh, place my order. And seemingly they had to have somebody there in Walmart that somehow had the same identical purse as I did. I can't say it was Walmart's fault, you know, if they hired that person or, you know. But this person was in Walmart waiting by that little area where I was going to order my food. But she had the same identical purse that I had, switched it. And then I think when I went down to get my money to pay for my order, I noticed that my purse had been switched. Okay, um, and then the, the dream went on to me going to Walmart customer service and act, asking them, hey, can y'all look at the camera and see who, who, um, who this was over there by the kiosk? And they were just real nonchalant and acting like they couldn't help me initially. And um, I had to, in the, in the dream, I think the person that stole my car and I had all my uh, information like, I was starting to think, oh, I got to call a bank. I got to call this, that, and the third, okay? Um, my sister commented at the time about the facial recognition, which we did not have at the time. But they just remodeled our little Walmart and made it a super Walmart. And, of course, they do have 
facial facial recognitions on the uh, on the checkout things on the um, self checkout things. Okay, and um, it just came to my mind. It just came to my mind today because the person who who uh, they they took my they made duplicate checks and they weren't the same checks that I had, like Bank of America with the superimposed print on it. They made like National Baseball League uh, checks. They, of course, had the routing number and checking account, and some little girl wrote it um, by her handwriting, I could tell, um, to some guy, okay? Of course, I Googled the guy, because I was like, he better not live nowhere near me, and I better not know him, okay? Um, so anyway, the, the Lord warned me in advance, and I just wanted to share that. Speaking of Walmart, you guys, before I go, we have two Walmarts within a few miles of each other. And I'm talking no more than 10 miles apart, if that. Uh, we have a Lowe's. They just built another Lowe's. Those two Lowe's are maybe within five miles of each other. And then smack dab in the middle of the two Walmarts, let's say, uh, two Walmarts and the two Lowe's, they're building a Home Depot. It just makes me think of FEMA camps, okay? Ain't no, we not that big to need two Lowe's, two Walmarts, and a Home Depot all within 10 miles of each other, okay? And we do have highway access here. It just makes me think about that. Ain't no way. It, we don't need all that, okay? God bless y'all. Don't want to make this video too long. Hopefully, I come back and make new videos. But um, I want to put this out here. Earthquake or something. Something where it will cause sinkholes. Where it will cause uh, landslides. Um, where it may cause dams to break. Whether the water comes from up here or the water comes from... The, the shaking in the ground. I don't know. Wasn't given that information. I just wanted to put it all together. And thank you guys for your help. I'll leave all links below.